Hello everybody, my name is Tyler Winnett and I am a student here at Antioch Community High School and this is going to be my seventh ever weekly weather forecast. So this forecast is gonna be from November 6, 2021 to November 12, 2021. So let's jump right into the details. I got a great forecast lined up for you guys this week. So here's what to watch for this week. We're gonna have above average daytime temperatures that are expected for the weekend and especially on Monday and towards the early part of the school week. A gradual cooling trend, especially with the low temperatures are expected later in the school week, something like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, kind of those days with shower chances increasing in the second part of the school week. And temperatures during the nighttime hours will also remain kind of just a little bit above average. It could give way for some nice sleeping weather right here, especially the early part in the week. And this is the real time weather radar. As you can see, things are quiet. We have nothing on the radar. Um, the green areas right here, these are not showers. This is just the base reflectivity from the radar. Sometimes we also call the radar as base reflectivity. But since we have high pressure, clear skies, sunny skies, we don't have anything on the radar. Unless maybe you're in Michigan, just look out for, look out for areas from Muskegon to South Haven to Benton Harbor. You might get a couple rain and even some snow showers. Yes, snow showers. That's pretty common for Michigan, especially in November and December. So if you're going up there, make sure to watch out for rain and snow showers, especially during the night. But over here in Illinois, Wisconsin, and Indiana, you guys have clear, so you guys have clear skies. Lucky you. And this is the Midwest Service Analysis, and this is taken on November 3rd, 2021. As you can see, clear skies I mentioned. It's all because of this high pressure. Now, high pressure not only helps us clear the skies and bring us kind of drier weather and stuff, it blocks any weather system. So any rain showers, snow showers that are going, um, if there's like any rain showers or snow showers, let's just say for example on South Dakota, which there's none right now, high pressure is gonna block that system. So it's gonna go maybe to areas like Minnesota or Iowa, but not here, or it's gonna weaken by the time it gets to Minnesota and Iowa. But we don't have to worry about any precipitation. We just gotta worry about the temperatures. This is a big temperature forecast. And 24, 41, 32, those are the high temperatures. As you can see, there's some 30s and 40s and maybe even some 50s down here in Missouri and Kentucky. Those are all going to be lifting northeast and coming this way. So this is going to be the weekend forecast. So for Saturday, partly cloudy skies, above average temperatures, high of 57 and a low of 38 with a low impact. Don't be surprised on Saturday if we get some isolated 60 degree temperatures. It is really it has been really, really warm this fall season. Above average during the fall season, it's been really nice. Sunday, we're going to fall back. There's going to be a time change. I will talk about that in a little bit. But we're going to have partly cloudy skies with a high of 63 and a low of 44 with a low impact. And speaking of a time change, I just wanted to also let you know that Sunday is the day we fall back. So make sure you set your clocks back one hour. Test your smoke detectors. If you have a NOAA all hazards weather radio like me, make sure you just replace the batteries, put new ones in, and just be prepared for much cooler weather as the sun's gonna be out just not too much as we've seen in the previous months and in the summer, and there'll probably be less daylight during the day. So just be aware of that as we go into this weekend and Sunday. And here's the five day school week forecast. So I will walk you through each day. Monday, we have mostly sunny skies of a high of 64 and a low of 46 with a low impact. Tuesday, mostly cloudy with a high of 63 and a low of 44 with a low impact. Wednesday, we're gonna have afternoon showers of a high of 59 and a low of 47. Low impact and a 50% chance of rain. And for Thursday, we are going to have showers with a high of 53 and a low of 39 40% chance of rain with a low impact. And unfortunately, on Friday, snow showers. I know everybody hates the snow, but unfortunately, there's some models that I'm looking at that could bring some snow showers on Friday, especially during the afternoon with a high of 47 and a low of 31. Don't say for sure we're gonna get snow showers though. I only put 40% 
as it's five days out, but just so you know, we might get some snow showers on Friday. We could have our first snow of the year, which I know everybody doesn't like because that's a sign of winter and that's a sign of cold. And before I end this weekly weather forecast, I want to give a shout out to Mike Kaplan from Fox 32. Thank you so much for the shout out in my last weekly weather forecast and the suggestions. And you are absolutely awesome. You're a great meteorologist, a great forecaster and hopefully you're able to like my weather forecast in the future. You are an awesome, you're an awesome guy and uh, hopefully you have great success in the future and hopefully you keep enjoying my weather forecast. So that's gonna be the weather forecast for this week. I'm Tyler from Antioch Community. Stay safe and I will see you guys in the next weather forecast. Bye.